All right, so um, I am Morgan Robbins. This is Eileen, please remember. Angel Crumb. Or um, And our product is Rosy Rivets. So personally, when I'm driving, one of the worst feelings in the world is when you look down at the dashboard and the yellow check engine light of doom has turned on. Because then you know that you're going to have to look at the mechanic and you have to pay them to figure out what's wrong with the car, you have to pay them to get the parts to fix it, and then you have to pay them to do it themselves. And so that those costs really add up very quickly, especially for young adults and college students who don't necessarily have a full-time job or a steady stream of income. And so it feels easier to just ignore it sometimes. Then that becomes a safety hazard later and you could be exposing yourself to a higher chance of car accidents and you drive people on the road. And so neither option is really the best. So what do you do? Oh, there it is. So our app, Rosie Rivets, is designed to make determining the issue of your, your car and fixing it more affordable and accessible for college students. So we would take all the heavy lifting out of the app, out of it for you. We would, we would determine what's wrong with the car, what parts you need, and then we can also provide tutorials on how to fix the car so you don't have to go into the mechanic. Yeah, there you go. And then if the issue with your car isn't something that you can do, you need to replace your engine cylinder or something, and you know that you're not capable of doing it, we can provide you with um, links to help make appointments with local mechanics and you can get a discount. Thank you. So how it works is you would buy a 40 to $50 sensor. Um, the technology does exist. There's plenty of them on the market. And then you would download our app from the app store. So you hook up the sensor to your car and then you pair your phone to the sensor using Bluetooth. And then after you have your phone hooked up to the sensor, um, the constant live data coming in from the sensor will be able to tell your phone what's happening in the car. And the app will be able to analyze the data and figure out something wrong with it. If it detects an issue, it can send a notification of the summary. The summary will provide the most likely, what's most likely wrong with your car, kind of like where the D where you search for symptoms and it gives you like, you may have the flu or bronchitis or something like that. And so it'll tell you the most likely issues, the parts that you'll need to fix it. And then it provides the video tutorials yeah, on how to complete the repairs. You, see, you can use the information in the summary to repair it yourself. You can also use it as just kind of a, hey, like when you would have a mechanic, you can say, hey, this is the information that I have so far. What you can do with it, I guess. So our target audience is college students and young adults, or just people in general who necessarily can't necessarily afford to go in for every oil change every single time they need to need to do a windshield wiper or need to get their tires rotated, and just it's too expensive. So on market size, um, we estimate there's roughly 10.5 million college students who currently own and use their car as a for transportation once you factor in commuters and who's living on campus and is allowed to have cars on campus. So um, our market validation is in terms of road safety, there's about 45,000 car accidents every year on average that is caused by poor vehicle maintenance. Um, the cost of mechanics has increased from $333 and 93 cents in 2011 to $392.37. And this is the average cost of a, thank you, check engine light repair. So when it when the check engine light goes off, you have to go in, this is the average cost of what it takes to fix it. Um, and then, so it the tires, headlights and taillights, and windshield wipers are among the top five mechanical failures that cause car accidents. And these are all usually things that can be easy, that can be done from home as soon as you know how to do it. Like it's a skill that you can learn easily, and then once you know how to use it, you can do it over and over again without issue. So there are other apps on the market that can use these sensors and analyze the data, but we would take it a step further. 
So for starters, one of our features on the app um, called Identify would allow you to take an audio recording of a strange noise that your car is making because they do that sometimes and it's hard to put that noise into Google search. So by recording, so recording in your car and then the app would then um, use that noise to figure out what the issue is. Um, in the beginning, we would be sending this recording to mechanics and then they would be able, with that knowledge, and then they can model your car, they'd be diagnosing it. And then as the app is continued to be used, um, we would build a library with all of these voices in it and we'd be able to, what was it? I don't know the app is continued to use, we build a library of these noises, the diagnostics, so we can train a machine learning model on it as well as selling this information to other companies who are interested in this data, um, as well as government organizations and others who are already collecting similar information. Um, and so this is a feature that we have not been able to find in any other app on the market. Also, some of these apps um, have tiers where it's like premium plans that you need to have to get access to other things. And for ours, after you buy the sensor, everything on the app should be free. <laughs> okay, um, so our financial productions and growth is we would start by marketing to 10 colleges in one year. And if that college had about 10,000 students on average, we'd be able to get about 3,000 students there to um, download the app and use it. And we can estimate that we would get about $500 from each of them over the course of the year, which means that we would get I can't, I can do thank you. This is the first one. Oh. <laughs> no. So the first year is the age. 50,000 is. Okay. Um, yeah, so we would start with, I think, 150,000, maybe it's more than that. And then the year after that, we would spread to going to 100 colleges. And then the year after that, we would increase any more. Um, and by the end of year three, once you take into account things like um, operations and labor and all the other costs of running this, I think it was like 220, thank you, $225 million in profit. Um, so on the team, <laughs> I was the person who created the pitch, um, agents in charge of graphics. Eileen, every time. Okay, Eileen designed the wireframe, which we're showing you in a moment, and in a corporate, it was in charge of the research and just technology in general for the project. So this is the places that we got our statistics from, and now we'll show you all the wireframe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and just click on yeah. there. All right, so. Generally, the first thing that happens <laughs> when you get to the app, it's a mobile app, so it's, it kind of functions that way. You confirm, is this me wrong? You guys, so you would connect your um, phone, like Bluetooth, if so confirm, voting. Um, we have the name on top here. This circle here is a replacement boundary. You see? Oh, yes, you do. Um, for like settings. Um, here's the warning sign. If you click here, so you get information. Here's the little icon. <laughs> um, you go back. Um, this here is another page. Back. This one does not have a warning light, so nothing is wrong. <laughs> Weird sound. I think this will be auto. I don't identify. Yeah. That's what we, you upload or record and tutorials. You can scroll down and find. They're all about a change Because I want to know how to do Yeah. Um, and I think, oh, yeah, here's where you contact me. Can I did not put a thing there. But that, is, that is about it. Yeah. Any questions? All right. 
Oh, sorry. I turned it off. So, my son is a college student. He's on his way to Kane's Barbecue in Knoxville, Tennessee. The light goes on. He's not stopping. He's going to get chicken. So, I think from a missing element, if I got the notification, then I would be the one saying, hey, pull over the car and let's check out what's going on. Yeah. So you just throw that in, but I like the idea, especially the noise aspect to it. One idea we had that we hadn't implemented into the wireframe due to time was a possible emergency contact where if an emergency popped up, then you could have an emergency contact that would be like, hey, this car got this alert at this and, you know, road. So you could put in like your parents' information or someone you trust who get that information and get it back to you. Hey, I don't know if you saw this, but something's up with your car. You may want to get that checked out. Thanks. Uh, to add to what they were saying, um, the technology that we'd be able to do put in the car, we'd also be able to detect it if a car crash happened. And since it's connected to your phone, we can connect to GPS and we can send out an alert as well. Um, but yes, since we'd, we'd be able to, um, as another targeted audience, um, we'd be able to market to the parents of college students and teenagers because no, they will not always listen to the dashboard. And I'm a, so this would be a way for parents to monitor their children's vehicles and be like, hey, you should check that out because it's going to cause problems later. I'd like to have one more question. I have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great.